ये देखिए जो जो बुराइयाँ आप बता रहे हैं इनेबलिंग कंट्रीज में सब जगह हैं क्या इन सब को रिमूव करने के लिए पार्लियामेंट ने इंटरव्यून किया है या कोई दुनिया में ऐसी मसाल है कि प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोसीजर ऑफ कोर्ट के हवाले से कोई लेजिस्लेशन भी हुई है कहीं कोई एक किसी मुल्क का बताइए जैसे प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोसीजर के हवाले से कोई एक्टमेंट आया हो मलोड इन वेरियस जोरिस्टिक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द यूनाइटेड किंगडम इट सेल्फ प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोसीजर ऑफ द यू के सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज डन by the uk uh, by by an act of parliament now interestingly in india one of the chief justices who held the press conference one of the judges who held the press conference against the chief justice justice raman gogoi he himself became chief justice i was justice. wondering when you would come to that <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting part and when mr. he Sala became uh, mr salauddin so, ahmed we became independent in 1947 we can learn from other countries by all means but whilst we refer to indian judgments quite generally in all our judgments i have never seen it reciprocated in india have you ever come across an indian supreme court judgment or any high court judgment which has ever referred to a judgment of pakistan but i think there are some very early ones but no not of late at least i am not no, i'm so i'm just saying this a perpetual fascination with what happens across the border why can't we just stick to our constitution saying, their constitution we've seen what they've done with their constitution i don't know how they're going to decide article 370 let's see the independence of the judiciary there let's not put that as the benchmark for the best what happens in the world let's stick to our own thing they are welcome to theirs let us be guided by our own lights i mean we're not looking to islam i mean you know that is brushed under the carpet we looking to india we looking to the us and when anything in islamic comes up with the constitution starts with the word islam mandates the right of appeal even uh, the almighty does not condemn without having heard and why we don't not going by our traditions at all i mean just everything indian everything then they don't even reciprocate i mean fine they don't need to that's up to them but why are we so beholden always i'm saying the opposite sir in fact i am saying that one should also learn from the mistakes of our neighboring jurisdictions not just from their judgments and that is why i was pointing out sir that justice raman gogoi when he became chief justice the bar went to him and said that now reform the powers of the chief justice he refused and then there was a sexual harassment petition against him and he fixed it before himself and dismissed that so the indian citations i agree with your lordship are to be taken with a pinch of salt now a similar situation sir arose in nepal and i do think sir that when we are looking at foreign examples perhaps relying upon us and uk jurisdictions itself might not be so apt for our socio political economic realities we should look at countries closer to us so we are, we are taking a poll of the countries in the Not world at all, sir. i mean 200 countries do this is, we must it do is, it, it is a reflection sir. it is a reflection so of the same can... problem that has arisen but, uh, but to your knowledge i mean before you move on to nepal uh, in india uh, as up to now uh, has parliament then stepped into the breach no sir no thank you mr salaudin whether the constitutional convention does that mean our parliament is more vigilant yes you so just say no i mean you don't expand anything further my lord i i i do i uh, agree that our parliament still, has acted I'm because there waiting, was a vacuum i'm still waiting in all of this to get to the the constitutional competence of, yes sir i'll come i'll be there i'll be there sir <laughs> yes, sir. very short this is allowed for all in bangladesh and i will very shortly sir so yes, just two, uh, two more uh, uh, submissions on this regard and i'll move on so now we get all the kindly report kindly this is the constitution convention does they, they have the status of constitution can they be changed in accordance to the uh, coming situations or if it can be changed who can change it whether convention is fixed it cannot be changed well not that is exactly the difficulty as i understand it of constitutional conventions because if you have a position that the constitution says that this power belongs to a and then the framers of the constitution amend that and they say this power no longer belongs to a how can it be imported 
that the constitutional convention still continues to power that is, empower that convention. Is not, that is not that is not a convention. That is where that situation would arise if, for example, in the 62 constitution or the interim or 73 constitution, there were words to the contrary. All that those, as I understand it, but subject to any correction from your part, those constitutions and including the present one has structurally gone to the position of the Government of India Act. And therefore, the case law that has come up has come in the context of the 1973 constitution. What I'm saying is that there is a background to that case law. It's not something that in 1979 was said for the first time. The conventions go back decades if not centuries. That's what I'm saying. I'm grateful for your Lordship's observation. Now, I just, Mr. just Mr. moving on to Mr. Slavin here. ये देखिए जो जो बुराइयाँ आप बता रहे हैं enabling countries में सब जगह हैं क्या इन सब को remove करने के लिए parliament ने intervene किया है या कोई दुनिया में ऐसी मसाल है कि practice and procedure of court के हवाले से कोई legislation भी हुई है कहीं मलोड इन various jurisdictions that has been कोई एक किसी बोल कर बताइए जैसे practice and procedure के हवाले से कोई enactment आया हो मलोड इन various jurisdictions for example in the United Kingdom itself practice and procedure of the UK Supreme Court is done yes. by the UK uh, by, by an act of parliament. If the effect and the substance of that law is to impair in any manner that the access to justice, then it's a different issue. Thing. But yeah. legislatively they can. They can do that. They can. They can. Okay. Now, Mr. Mr. Slavdin, please read section 2, subsection 2. Please read that of the act which Jeez. is impugned before this. सर अगर इजाजत दें ये वाला लेग खत्म करके फिर मैं वो प्रोविजन जी मैं पढ़ लेता हूँ सर पढ़ लेता हूँ जी मैं अभी पढ़ लेता हूँ सर पढ़ लेता हूँ सेक्शन टू सब सेक्शन टू सून आफ्टर कमेंसमेंट ऑफ दिस एक्ट द कमिटी कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड अंडर सब सेक्शन वन शेल होल्ड इट्स फर्स्ट मीटिंग � the again procedure has to be constituted by the committee. Yes. So the same procedure, which is the brainchild of 191, again has to be exercised by the committee. So the definition of Supreme Court that so Chief Justice and judges would not compromise. My Lord, as far as then, I understand then, the you word... You see, in the spirit of 191, the whole uh, the court is supposed to make the rules. But here, only there are three persons to make rules. What do you say about this? Jesus, sir, as I read section 2.2, when they talk about procedure, they are not talking about the procedure of the court. They are talking about the procedure of the committee, how it will hold meetings, yes, course, how it will do that. Course. So that power is not about the procedure of the court mentioned in 191. That is a, an internal arrangement of that committee to decide how often we will meet, whether it's every week or once a month or what, so on and so forth.